Hey everyone, Justin Pate from the Rap Institute and welcome to round seven of the Rap Institute's Never Stop Learning Online Rap Contest. And in this round, I'll be wrapping this hood with full print graphics. And so you're gonna have to guess how long it takes me to wrap it. And if you do, you're gonna win this week's prize. This week is sponsored by Oracle and you can win a kit of their 3751 RA with ProSlide and you can choose your over laminate between 290 and 293. Super cool, that's worth around 600 bucks and they're also throwing in application gloves. Their blue application glove and their new Ghost Series install kit, which is the glove and the cover for the squeegee. Awesome stuff. So the price this week, $665. So what you do is you guess how long it took me to wrap it on Instagram. And if you guess the right time, you win the prize. But this is also about learning. So I'm going to give a lot of good tips and tricks of how to wrap a hood commercial style, which is super cool. And then you also get that chance to win the awesome prize. So once again, this is all prepped, we're going to start the clock and let's learn it up. And hopefully if you're the winner, win it up. Let's get to it. Prep is done, so that meant general clean degrease. And what I love about color uh, full print wraps is that you don't have to wrap it like color change. Where color change, if you saw round one, I opened the hood, cleaned much deeper, took the material farther. But with full print graphics, you don't have to do that. It's one of the things I want to emphasize in this video. So with prep done, and you always want to get the prep right, we're ready for install, so I'm going to start the clock. Bam. So what you have to think about with full print graphics is the priority now is alignment. So I wanna make sure that everything is aligned. So I'm gonna come here and if you notice that their white trim is on the panel. I like that white trim because I use it as a tool. So here I'm gonna feel how long I got here. Basically got, sometimes I like to cheat if I don't have my tape measure on me. So basically I got a squeegee and a little extra right there. Gonna come on over here and kind of pull it right to here. I got the red lines are matching up, cool. So I set the magnet there to hold on it because I can't use magnets on the hood. A lot of car manufacturers are doing that. And now I'm gonna take the tape measure and same thing as I did before. So we'll see if I was right. So I got the edge right there, basically the same. So I come here and I'm measuring from the side to here. It's five and a half inches. Come back over here now and let's see how I'm close. I got five and a half inches, super cool. So again, what I like to use is that white trim, all that kind of stuff lines up and we're good to go. So once I have that set now, what I wanna do is trim off the excess film. You always wanna do it safely. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna drop my tape measure in the car and I'm gonna use this. This is actually a really cool tool. They call this a snitty. And what this does is it actually cuts the material and there's no chance of me cutting the car. So you always wanna use the right tools. Come back over here, feel through. And you always wanna make sure you have extra material. That's called bleed. So always wanna have extra material so you can pull it, but you don't wanna have too much extra material. There's a dog fight. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to Cut off the excess, excess film, again, being super safe, being super methodical. Feel through here, feels good, come back here. And here, just cutting across. And notice that I'm cutting with the backing paper on. And the reason why I'm doing that now is by cutting with the backing paper on, maybe I can save that, you know, just to be safe, but it actually makes it much easier to cut. So now that I have everything set, excess film is removed away, now I'm ready to install. So in this case, because I can't use my magnets, I'm gonna use a cool technique. This is something I picked up years ago when I was wrapping solo in New York City is what I call half circle pulls. So you can tell that I'm just pulling off a little bit of the backing paper right there. Come on over here and do the same thing. And another way you can tell if you're centered or straight is this too. You notice the arrows here are symmetrical and it's pointing right to the middle of the emblem. That's another indication that I'm in the right spot. So pull the backing paper now just a little bit, tack it to there and Done. So now that I have my, what I call a temporary hinge, I can now remove the backing paper. So I'm gonna pull the material, flip it just past where the half circle hinges are. I'm gonna remove the backing paper. And in this case, because I'm working by myself, I'm gonna fold it over right there so it doesn't come with me. I come to here and now see that section came up a little bit here, so I'm just gonna tack it one more time, right to there. So the backing paper tore, so I'm just gonna be extra slow right here as I pull it. And if the backing paper tears, what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you don't get too far. So I'm gonna pull it right to here, pick it back up, and try to get it back up to the point where it's nice and even, because when I cut, I wanna make sure it cuts nice and smooth. So I'm gonna go here just a little bit, here and then see if it comes with me right to there. Super cool. So again, being super patient, come back in and grab my snitty again, and I'm gonna cut the backing paper. 
all the way to the top, and you always want to make sure you put your backing paper right under the car. So once the backing paper goes under there, I'm going to flip it over. And this particular material from Oracle has Pro Slide. Super cool. So what it means is, once I lock this in, and again, by locking it in, this is what I call a permanent range, is look how easily I can pick it back up. New technology from Orful this year. So look what I can do. I can now pick it up, reposition it, and this makes it much easier to install. Super cool. So this allows me to work by myself. Awesome. And I create just enough glass right to here to even it out. And then I take my squeegee, and I'm just going to squeegee up and down and up and down. I'm basically just going to lock this side in place. And I'm overlapping my squeegee strokes at a 45 degree angle. Very easy and straightforward. Then once I get to this recessed area here, notice I change my squeegee stroke, so I feed it into that little gap. And once I do, awesome. And then if I have bubbles like this, I can actually push the bubbles away. And how I can do that now is just with the, all the technology in the adhesive, the RA, the Pro Slide, all the technology that they're loading into the material these days. Super cool. Makes wrapping super fun. And wrapping is definitely a fun job. So now that I have one side done, I'm going to flip it over. And normally I would keep the backing paper on because material back in the day used to be really hard to put on. But in this case, I'm going to flip it over right to here and I'm going to take the entire liner off. It's what I call going cowboy. By doing that, it actually lowers my install time quite a bit. So see how easily I can pick it up now. I can pull to the corner, make sure it's set, make sure the alignment's there, and pull down to here, nice and even. And if you watched any other videos on the Never Stop Learning contest, I always shoot for what I call glass. And glass means when the material has no wrinkles. And this section here, no wrinkles. Glass means go. Wrinkles mean no. So the wrinkles were telling me to stop. I got the wrinkles away by pulling in the shape of a triangle, some of the technique that I'm really known for. And once you create that, you know, spread the tension out with triangles, smooths everything out, especially on a car, and allows you to wrap like this super fast in combination with really good material. So again, I'm squeegeeing, really paying attention to the material right now. Focus, and got that little recessed area again here. Pick the material up. And so when you're installing right now, even though I'm talking, and this is obviously an instructional video, the idea is that you're always paying attention to the material. Pay attention to tension, and tension is wrinkles. So right here I see a little wrinkle, I pick it back up, and good. So your job as an installer is to read those wrinkles. So notice what I've done so far is I've done the flat section in between the body line right here. So that means the panel's locked in, the registration is even, left to right, and it's centered, cool. But now I have to deal with the wrinkles here. So I'll deal with the front right now. So right now the wrinkles are pointing into here. So the material wants to go here, and what that does to me as an installer, that tells me to pull and squeegee in the opposite direction. And if I pull and squeegee in the opposite direction of where the material was pointing, the material goes down nice and smooth. It's the same thing here. The material was pointing in there, and then what I do is I take the material and I squeegee and pull in the opposite direction. And look how easily the material goes down and I don't have to use heat gun. Super cool. Speaking of heat gun right now, now look at all the tension. If I'm paying attention to tension right now, Lots of tension right there. So instead of grabbing my heat gun right now, what I'm going to do now is this. I'm going to pull this way. I'm actually going to pull where the lines of the graphics are going. And by doing that now, what that does is it shifts that tension away from where the tension was. So now I have glass. And again, that's the triangle technique that I was talking about earlier, is if I pull at that 45 degree angle in that triangle technique, then I can apply the film right to the side this easily, bam. And what I don't have to use is heat gun, which is super cool. And if I don't use a heat gun, it keeps the material from stretching too much. So right now I can see that the lines are super symmetrical. So I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Pick the material up, right to the body line, and I'm gonna pull at that angle where the graphics were, spread the tension out, and I'm pulling at room temperature. I look for no wrinkles once I see no wrinkles, this says to me, squeegee. Again, wrinkles mean go. So, I mean, sorry, glass means go, wrinkles mean no. So, 
squeegeeing and basically three overlapping squeegee strokes, paying attention to the material and bam, super easy. So the combination of having really good material that's repositionable, in this case is Orjet 3951 with 290 matte lamination, then with the right techniques, marries really well. So now that the material's on, it's what I call cutting time. So basically I'm gonna put, uh, get, grab my heat gun over here and I have my heat gun set up. It's got a nice magnet strap on it. So I can just grab it, don't have to bend over. I'm gonna get the heat gun going a little bit. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna relax the edges a little bit before I cut. So even though I didn't use heat to apply the film, I did pull the material. And by pulling the material, I naturally stretched it a little bit. So here you can see the wrinkles right here. So what I'm doing is I'm relaxing the material before I cut. because so I wanna get that tension away. So by taking the tension away with heat before I cut, it means that the material won't shrink over time. So it doesn't take very long. So that's a good tip for you installers out there. If you've been having issues with wrapping and you feel like you're getting fingers or failure points, that means that you're probably leaving tension on the edge before you cut. So for me, by taking a few seconds to relax that tension before you cut, that's a recipe for success. Another recipe for success is a good habit that I say I really recommend, and I say this in the workshops and the videos on the Wrap Institute, is Click before you cut. Also what I recommend is cutting your corners first. Now, there's a different style of cutting corners for commercial. So in the workshops and on the Wrap Institute, what I always talk about is what I call Belgian corners. I picked this technique up when I was teaching years ago. I was teaching a workshop in Belgium. And an installer showed me this technique for cutting corners and it's super easy and quick. So for commercial style, this works great. So you basically flush cut the corners and by flush cutting the corners, it looks super symmetrical and you avoid over wrapping. Cool, so once I have that set now, I'm gonna circle back, double check that my edges are good, run my finger here, and now I'm gonna cut on the hood side. So by cutting on the hood side right now, I'm basically cutting the material flush to the edge. And what you have to appreciate right now is what color is the car? The car is black. And because the car is black right now, and there's black in the print, I don't have to wrap all the way around the edge like I did for the green. I just basically have to wrap and cut on the edge of the hood and then come back and seal and it's nice and symmetrical. So that's the difference and I really push that on the Wrap Institute is changing the hats for what you're wrapping. So in this case right now, I'm not here to change the color of the car. I'm here to put a graphic on the car. In this case, the Never Stop Learning Wrap Contest and the Wrap Institute logo. So the idea is now is just to get the material clean and tight and symmetrical. So that's one thing that we talk about on the Wrap Institute a lot is finding that balance between knowing how to wrap, but also knowing how to make money. So the Wrap Institute is all about showing efficient ways to wrap. So here you can see I'm just cutting in a nice sequential order. I'm sealing the edge as soon as I cut. I change body position right here. So I cut nice and clean right to the edge here, all the way up right to here. As soon as I make that cut, I come back and seal the edge right there nice good clean sealed edge once i get that i can come back down here and i cut so the reason why i'm changing body positions right now is for me right now you always want to make sure that you move with your cut never cut in an awkward position i got super high focus because again cutting is one of those things where you definitely definitely want to cut right as soon as i cut take my finger now i round the edge make sure the materials are nice and tight and are going around the corner and then i come here and squeegee cool and I got the last cut right now. Awesome. And if you watched round four of the Wrap Institute, I did stripes on a hood. And I really talked about having a good clean workspace. So notice this, what's not on the ground right now? Trash. My backing paper's under the car. And all my material is gonna come off in one motion and immediately go in the trash. Now. It looks like I'm done, and you want me to hit the clock if you guess 13 minutes, but I ain't gonna hit that clock yet because what I'm gonna do is finish strong. So as an installer right now, what you have to do is always go around your edges and double check that the edges are down. Just like what I did earlier in terms of heating the edges before cutting and relaxing them, I'm doing the same thing now. What I'm doing now is double checking that all the edges are sealed. That didn't take very long. And then what I also do is I go over the material with heat just to double check for bubbles. Any scratches, which I don't have because I had a fresh buffer on my squeegee. So I come back over here. 
heat it up. And what this heat is also doing is I'm not only looking for bubbles, ah, right here. This is a perfect example. If I didn't use heat right there, I wouldn't have seen that. But because I used heat now, I can separate the bubbles and I can press them down. I don't need to poke them. I can separate and you can see that air spread out and that's the technology on the adhesive right now. And so by taking the heat now and finding this bubble, hmm, this is good because before the client picks it up, I've solved this problem of having bubbles. But if I don't take that heat, and again, the clock is ticking, how much longer is this taking me to double check and make correct? Not very long, seconds right now. But the payoff now, and this is again being super professional, is the fact that when the client picks up the card, they're gonna be super happy. And that's the importance of good prep, good install, and good strong finishing. So with that being said, I'm gonna stand back and double check everything looks good. Never stop learning contest round seven. I feel like it's done. I'm gonna hit that clock. So when I hit the clock, and you got 14 minutes and 41 seconds to wrap this hood with Orifol's 3951RA with ProSlide, then you won this week's prize, which is again that kit of Orifol's 3751RA ProSlide with that overlaminate 290 or 293 plus the application gloves and the uh, cover for your squeegee. So again, hope you won the prize and I hope you learned a lot of how to put on full print graphics rapid suit style. Thanks for watching. Justin Payton.